I said, tell me the truth. Does thinking of you say get well soon? And he said, well, I actually thought happy birthday was <laughs>
So we are just kind of praying and putting our trust in God. And um, we'll just leave it up to Him to uh, take care of the problem. Yeah, which ultimately is all that we can do. Well, I told my dad after John had left, and of course I broke down and was crying when I was telling him, and he just assured me, you know, everything happens for a reason, God doesn't make mistakes, you know, just put your trust in Him, put your faith in Him, and everything's going to be okay, which is basically what your parents said. My, I told my sister, and that's what her and her husband said. I told my mom, and we're about to go in and check in and get my blood work done. We are going to the hospital tomorrow. My wife is having surgery, and I was trying to get her in bed and you know, so she can get rested up, but she started packing, and she kind of arrange stuff, make sure when they call us, we can just grab the bag, leave, which makes sense. I'm always like, I just go to sleep. We'll take care of it tomorrow, but I'm glad she's thinking ahead. We'll just leave it to the Lord and trust him. Well, I told my mom and I guess my mom told him and he called me today and just try to get more info. And he said that he's praying for, for us. My wife is really brave. Here's Melanie. She just uh, changed into her hospital clothes. And they gave her socks. I got new socks. <laughs> We're just waiting to... They said I have to wait here for a little bit before they give me the anesthesia. I don't know I how to say word. Anesthesia? Yeah. Anesthesia? Yeah, no, Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> before they give me Fantasia. <laughs> They're supposed to do vital signs and... Oh, they got that already. What about the questionnaire? The, they're supposed to ask the questions? Oh, no one's asking the questions. Oh. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm so thirsty. So beautiful. I'm so starving. <laughs> oh, yeah. They told her not to eat or drink anything before 12 or after no, 12? after midnight, yeah. Yeah, after midnight. So I was thinking, that'll be fine because, you know, my surgery will probably be at like 9 or 10 in the morning. So, you know, it's like a brunch when I get to eat afterward. Well, it's like, what, 2 o'clock now? And I'm so uh, thirsty. Yeah, like 1.30, almost 2. I need to, like, swallowing my saliva. I told her to gargle some water. My baby already got her um, arms all bruised up and stuff. Yeah, this one. Okay, so the first day we came, Thursday, it's this big one right here. It was, like, all the way up here, but it's fine now. And then Saturday was this one, but it's gone down. And then Monday, we got this one, which that one didn't have any bruising. And then Monday night, we did this one, and it gave more bruising. So I'm like, I don't know where they're going to put the IV. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. I'm I laying on you. a puppy pad. Look. Oh, I know. We should take these for Sayas. <laughs> these things. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Brave warrior over here. <laughs> I almost started crying. Not really, but I've never had an IV like this before in my wrist. Yo, but look at this thing though. It's a lot of stuff. Brave though. She's very brave. Kind of nervous. But she'll do well. Yeah, what time is it? It's like 4. I've been laying here since 1. My butt feels flat. Alrighty, sounds good, guys. <laughs> I think that's my doctor. See ya. Yeah. Uh, they just said to take Mel over, so. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah, I'm about to go. Bye. Hey, baby, I love, I love you. you. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> so we just made it home about two hours ago. Here's. My wife resting. I just finished eating. We went there what time to like check in at like 1? We went there at 1. Well, we went there at 12.30. We got there at 12.30. Mm -hmm. Registered and about 12.40. They sent us to the op something. Oh, pre-op. Pre-op. And uh, she was there for a really long time, like maybe three hours. And they wheeled me back to do the anesthesia. 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 And I have so much trouble saying that word. But in my mind, I kept thinking, did he already give me the medicine? Because my eyes feel heavy. 
I hope I made sense with whatever it was that I was saying. So that's what I was thinking. I had bad cramping pain. When he went in to do the DNC, he said that there was the fetal tissue in there. So that was good news because that meant that I didn't have an ectopic pregnancy, which meant my tubes were open and my baby did make it to the uterus. All in all, we had a miscarriage. Um, not that I'm thankful we had a miscarriage, but I'm thankful that that means that we can have kids in the future because that was what I was like terrified about. Like, because my sister doesn't have any kids right now. My brother and his wife doesn't have any kids right now. And um, I thought, you know, that was going to be our situation as well, but I was very glad, very happy to hear that. Well, John said he walked in and I was asleep and he said I look sad because my eyebrows were like this. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember my eyebrows doing that. This is TMI again, but I had told the lady, ma'am, I feel something by my legs. And she was like, oh, that's normal. That's, you know, because we had, um, we went in and did the DNC there. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So when she told John, you know, Okay, go ahead and let her change her clothes and kind of clean up in this area. I had like lifted up the blanket and there was like blood all Everywhere. the way to, all the way to my knees and everything. And I was like, I don't know if that's normal because she said that I would have some, uh, but it wasn't you know something that kind of looks like this, which is this is our puppy's um, like a puppy pan. I was mm. laying on something like this, but a lot bigger. And there was blood on and so I kind of like got dizzy a little bit because I'm I'm not I don't do well with blood or go to sleep because John has to leave really early because he was um, granted leave for these past couple of days to be here with me but he's got to leave at six o'clock in the morning so I'm not looking forward to being without him so I was in the waiting room while all this stuff was happening uh, my father-in-law left to go back to work and then my mother-in-law showed up you know, we were kind of catching up, telling her what happened. Because at the same day she had, or at the same time we went in, she had a doctor's appointment. She caught me at the um, waiting room, and we were kind of just sitting there. And then the doctor called my name. He was like, she's doing really well, but uh, I need to talk to you in this uh, one room over here. It's like a private room where we could close the door. My mother-in-law came with us. He was like, sit down so I can explain to you what happened. And so I'm like... I'm getting really nervous. He goes, with the evidence I have, and I have a lot of evidence that it shows the fetus or the egg made it all the way to the uterus, but it's not going to develop. Um, but the good thing is we didn't have to do a um, this long word called... Um, Laparoscopy. There we go. <laughs> Lepro something copy. And... Um, like my wife said, her tubes were opened, are still open. They're, yeah. He didn't even bother to look into the tubes because there's so much um, pregnancy tissue in the uterus that he said he is so sure that the pregnancy made it all the way to the uterus, which is really good. That alone made my heart like lift. It was I was really nervous. I was I think I was more nervous than she was. Because I was, you know, I was waiting while she was over there knocked out. <laughs> I was just asleep, dreaming yeah. it up. <laughs> but I was really happy that happened, and we couldn't have done it without all the people that were praying for us. Most of all, God, he, he uh, is in control of everything. I'm leaving tomorrow because I'm um, not on paid leave. So I'm going back. All the guys that are back at training are, are all... Uh, I keep checking on them because I'm kind of in charge of a, a section. which is like five guys. Five guys. <laughs> <laughs> five guys, burgers. <laughs> They're like, man, it's hectic, it's hot, all that. But I have to. It's my last, it's my last year and then I'm going to be getting out of the Marines. My sister made it safely. I was worried about that too because she was coming. She lives out of, um, out of the country. And I'm glad she made it here safely. So her and my younger brother are in Tulsa. I mean, obviously, you know, I wish I could, you know, jump up and dance and have a jolly good time with her. But hopefully we can do something later this week. So Bath & Body Works is having their semi-annual sale right now. And I want to go check it out because I only have one candle left. One of the three-wick candles left. Mm. Does that feel good? Yeah. <laughs> 
Bath and Body Works always got stuff on sale, and I'm like, how come guns are not on sale all the time? Oh, yeah. I don't know if they said <laughs> this, but John got a gun. When did we go to the city? It's Friday. We went on base, and John, because they were having a sale on this gun that, I don't even know what kind of gun it was, but he got one. I'm so happy he got one. It's a pistol, so now we can take our concealed carry class together, which I took it in 2013 and you have a year after you take that to go get your license like to mail it off and send off for your license and I didn't do it because I just it just slipped my mind and so um, my class like my credentials have expired so me and John are gonna take it together thank you baby for being with me today no problem baby. for taking care of me I was so like emotional today I don't know if it's for the real. medicine <laughs> if it's the medicine or like the fact that we had a miscarriage or I was like crying over everything like and mm. then I just kept telling him I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry because I just feel like I'm being such a like a nuisance no baby <laughs> stop crying sorry <laughs> anyway good night guys we'll see you later I love you John I love you too bye Good afternoon. So I just woke up from a nap. Um, my brother and my sister, which my sister made it in. She came over this morning early and um, they've been spoiling me since. Oh, you got the Dollar Tree stuff? Yeah. Okay. So this is what they made me for my lunch. <laughs> Beef. <laughs> <laughs> they made me uh, beef soup, strawberries, whipped cream, grapes, and caramel. It tastes like Granny Smith apples. I'm just sitting in bed eating. I've been not wanting to leave bed all day. Today is the first recovery day. I'm still having some cramps, which they said is normal. I'm still having some uh, bleeding. Not a lot like yesterday where we thought it was like a crime scene. Not like that. My sister and my brother got me balloons. Oh, there's flowers over there too. I didn't even see that. I thought it was my other flowers. I've been drinking a lot of water, but for some reason I cannot, like I'm using the bathroom, but I just still feel really puffy, if that makes sense. I took almost two bagfuls of IV yesterday because we left the hospital around 7 and they put the IV in me around 1, so 6 hours. I guess it took me 3 hours for each bag. So I don't know if that's still inside of me. And so that's making me feel really puffy too. So it's because the pain medication that I'm on makes my mouth really dry and makes me really thirsty. Carlos and Jordana came over to see me. They brought me something to eat. Yeah. Oh, that's what that's what I told it was. Mm. That's the report I gave, and, and the fire marshal said. You guys so, went out there to the fire. Sunday morning, I wasn't the one that responded until <laughs> 30 minutes later. Guys, go home. I already got it. <laughs> Well, it was out when he found it. Oh, it yeah. It happened like Friday night. Is it weird for you to speak English? It is. I do not. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, it's so funny. I'm like, hey, you're Ooh. making the words it says. My brain is working like five times the normal capacity. I'm like, so little, 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 little. So my Don't wife start is coming. everything was so. Every time I edit a vlog, it's like, so. And then like, so. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Did you just leave it there for the next morning? I told Carlos you have a snake at, <laughs> you have a snake at your house, and I killed it. And she, he was like, "Don't tell mom because she won't come over to the house anymore if she, if you do." <laughs> That's true. So we went to Subway, and she asked that lady if she could cut the uh, foot long in four pieces. And we got home, and uh, it was like two pieces, <laughs> and she started bawling. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Did I cry? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, really? I don't think I cried over that. <laughs>